We documented as part of a project with the Florida Park Service. A team of researchers from the Alliance for Integrated Spatial Technologies, or AIST, has spent years traveling around the world documenting and preserving 3D replications of historic sites and monuments. Now, they are taking a look at the University of South Florida. About 90 photographs. USF assistant research professors Lori Collins and Travis Deering have become global leaders in the high-tech scanning methods that they use to document and recreate scenes virtually. Terrestrial laser scanning allows us to see and visualize our world around us in 3D in a, a really rapid way so we can collect data and information that's really highly accurate and we can sort of recreate our surroundings and recreate our world around us in ways that we can engage and interact with. Through a collaborative project that includes high school students taking part in a STEM program here at USF, Collins and the AIST team will share the specialized techniques in a 3D and computer visualization technologies course. Building upon their original concept, they will be creating an entirely virtual landscape of USF. The team records 3D laser scans from multiple angles, and in combination with geographical information and global positioning, the researchers can virtually reconstruct any environment. This time, they take us on a tour of the Marshall Student Center. The 3D scanners record data from everything that the eye can see. The data is registered together with high-resolution photos and location coordinates using computer software freezing that location for future exploration, offering students the chance to visit sites around the world right from the classroom. And we can do that in a really rapid and a really accurate and representative way. We can bring that pyramid back to a classroom here at USF and have students virtually visit that site um, and, and give them an educational experience that they wouldn't necessarily be able to get in any other way. They might not be able to go to Egypt they might not be able to go to Guatemala or Mexico. Working with this scanning technology in the classroom setting provides students access to high-tech tools that engage them in projects that will translate into real-world applications. Training with the laser scanners and software encourages students to embrace a different way of looking at things and provides them the skills to create a virtual version of any scene to share with the world. This is a real project, but it also gives students a, a wonderful opportunity to learn in the classroom and, and develop skills with technologies. We walk away with the entire data set that is that, that place or that event. And so what we can then do as researchers, as investigators, as students, we can learn about a place, we can interact, we can look at things, and we can study them. We've got that data and we can interact with it differently. We can share information differently through these kinds of technologies. But in this way, we can do total immersion. We can fly through the campus. We can take them into a building. According to Collins, the 3D mapping of the USF Tampa campus will be unique. This is actually going to make USF one of the smartest campuses. The data can be input and layered to create models that people can explore and interact with. One of the many features will be augmented reality, which works through an application on a mobile device and will dive deeper into details about the location. The user can navigate and control their own experience. So you can take the 3D model of the library, you can come into our campus and, and look at the library, and through your own device, through a phone or a tablet, once we tag that spot with information, which we can do, we can then view things about that building so the building can talk to us, the building can tell us its story. We can kind of engage with things in different ways and see things through time um, and so that's, that's sort of the plan is to continue to grow this. This is a living document. We're going to continue to keep working on this.